Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jay Static and this is Static Sessions. So, in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to route reverb and delays. And uh, this is kind of a very important topic because when it comes down to routing reverb and delays, what I've seen is, and it's a common thing, I think I started doing this when I first started too, is I would put my reverb and delays on the actual tracks that I wanted to put reverb and delay on. So if I had a vocal, I would throw reverb on the vocal to give it that reverb feel. Problem is you're eating up all your CPU usage. So if you've listened to some of the videos from before, you know that if you're putting real-time effects on, you're gonna be eating up a lot of it and reverb are, reverbs are heavy with CPU usage. So you don't wanna put six reverbs on six different vocal tracks. What you'd wanna do is set up a return track and that way you can send, say, a, a percentage of volume to that reverb return track and you'll still hear the reverb less work for your CPU to do. Going into this uh, Ableton session, I just, you know, pulled up a vocal that I had. This is Gun Nacho's vocal for a song called Deal. What I'm gonna do right now is right click on the right hand side, if you can see over here, hit insert return track. I'm gonna do two of them because I'm gonna teach you guys how to do reverb and delay in two separate tracks. So, simple enough. I'm gonna to go to this right hand side where I have plugins and I'm gonna choose my two favorite um, reverb delays. So number one, I always use Valhalla. I think it's the best reverb out there. I think it just sounds awesome. And the second one, it's actually their stock plugin. It's actually pretty sick. And that one's called, oh, I forgot what it's called actually. It's called Ping Pong. Okay, and now I got my ping pong delay, which is in. So simple enough, I'm just gonna set it up. I'm not gonna actually use it as a ping pong, I'm gonna use it as a simple delay just to show you guys. First, what we'll do is we'll deal with the reverb because it's usually what people use the most. So now for your reverb, because you're gonna be sending it to a bus. So bus and return tracks are both the exact same. In other programs, I believe they call it buses, and you can also call it return tracks. It's basically an area where you wanna send something to. So what we're gonna do is, because we have these re two return tracks open, we're gonna be sending this vocal to these return tracks. And we get to control how much of the vocal we wanna to send to these return tracks. So for this Valhalla room, I'm gonna keep the mix at 100% wet, not dry, because obviously when it goes into the reverb, I want it to make that effect. Now, pre-delay. Pre-delay is a very simple thing. It's how and when you want the reverb to actually start. 10 sounds pretty good. I'll probably mess with it later on when I figure out what's going on. I just moved it for no reason because I'll figure it out as, as we go. Uh, reverb, you don't want it too long. I would say about two to three seconds max. Uh, you got your high cut as well and you got depth. Depth, I, I honestly don't know what it does. I've never really touched it. But when it comes to high cut, I see and I play around with it until I get the right fit that I want. So now, vocals here. As it's playing, I'm going to move up the send and you'll hear the reverb kind of kick in. Now that's a lot of reverb for that vocal, I'm just sitting there, but I wanted to make you guys understand that what it sounds like. So that's what it sounds like to send reverb to it. To, sorry to send the track to the reverb. This is really important because now imagine I have four or five layers. Instead of opening up four or five reverbs, I got one reverb in, that's in place and I send however much I want to that reverb. Much easier, much easier to do, much less CPU intensive. Now I got a delay. So this delay down here is very simple. I'm doing a uh, four count delay, really simple. And I'm gonna keep this dry wet to 100% wet and I don't want the feedback to be 100% because then that delay would never stop. So what we're going to do is we're going to set it to about 20%. I'm going to get rid of the uh, reverb just so you can hear the delay. And I'm going to play the end of the vocal. Here you'll hear what happens. That's it. You got a little, little bit of a reverb, uh, sorry, a little bit of a delay. And it sounds beautiful. Now the other cool little trick that thing that you can do is with this re, uh, with this delay, you can actually send the delay to the reverb, which is kind of cool and it gives you a different effect. Instead of making your vocal sound super wet for no reason, we can take the reverb, add some, sorry, we can take the delay, 
add some reverb to the delay and now it'll sound like there's reverb happening in the background but it's not directly affecting that vocal so as i do that you're going to hear the delay and you're going to hear how the reverb affects the delay <laughs> So now that delay has some reverb on it, which makes it sound kind of cool too. It's not directly affecting the vocal itself. And that is how to correctly bus or set up return tracks for your reverb and delay and to send stuff to it. And you can send anything to it. You can send re uh, sorry snares, you can send hi-hats, you can send whatever you want, whatever tickles you fancy. Just send it and it'll make that much of a difference. So I hope you guys learned how to correctly set up your reverb and delays with this. Um, definitely use it going forward, unless you're looking to do a little bit of a actual effect with the reverb and you have to put it on in order, in order to achieve it, I would say route them this way. And with automation, it can make a world of a difference. So with that being said, that's the end of this video. Hope you guys learned everything you needed to. Please share, like, subscribe, comment, do all those fun things. Click that little bell for future notifications of next videos coming out. Until then, see you guys soon.